I'm going to show you how to make creamy buttery mashed potatoes. Check this out. Welcome to Lifestyle Chapter by Frida. Garlic mashed potatoes are definitely special for Thanksgiving dinner and it's easy enough to make anytime and I'm going to show you. It is so simple. So let's get started. I'm using a Yukon gold potatoes. These are waxa potatoes they come out super creamy and they have their natural buttery flavor what i'm going to do now is i'm going to rinse them and peel with a peeler or a knife and i have about six potatoes that i'm going to work on so i will rinse them and then peel them nicely make sure to remove any dark spot of the potatoes once the potatoes are peeled keep them in cold water this will prevent them from browning and it removes excess starch cut potatoes into large to prevent it from absorbing water and add some salt to taste to that i'm going to bring this to a boil and i'll cover it with a lid Here I have another pot ready. I'm going to add in some milk, about one and one third cups of milk into the pot. Here I'm going to make my garlic milk for the recipe. So I have my garlic that I've already worked on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crush it nicely and cut it into smaller sizes or pieces. This is going to give the potatoes that garlicky flavor so i have it all done i'm transferring everything into the milk this is going to help it infuse into the milk to give it that flavor set it on fire just about to boil or you see the steam take it off fire here i'm back to look if the potatoes are all cooked as you can see when i put the knife through it it went through it smoothly that seems it is cooked so i'm going to pour the water out of it and here you are the water is out of the potatoes i decided to leave the potatoes in my pot because i want it to still remain hot so it will make it fluffy and i'm using this magic tool that is my masher you can use a masher which is the best tool for this i know some people use the mixer the mixer sometimes doesn't do the job well but a masher does if you have a um, potato riser that is also perfect but i'm using a masher here which works perfectly so i'm mashing the potatoes and before that i'll pour in or i'll just sieve in my garlic milk as you can see the residue you see in the strainer is the garlic so this is giving it a very beautiful and a nice fragrance right now so i'm mashing everything nicely up together as you can see the vapor coming out that is what i want it makes it easier to mash and using this kind of tool doesn't bring any lumps in it works so perfectly so if you have a masher or a potato riser you are good to go some people use the mix the mixer but if you don't take care it makes your potatoes um gummy if you don't want your potatoes to be gummy it's better you get the the mixer uh, sorry, you get the riser or the masher, which works perfectly. And here I'm adding in my butter. As you can see, it's in room temperature. If it's not and it's still frozen, you can just scrap it. But for mine, I just removed it for it to be on room temperature. So it makes it easier to melt. So I added in about a half cup of butter, which 
I'm using it to mash the potatoes. And to that, I'm going to add in another ingredient. This is optional, but because I want my potato, mashed potato to be more creamy, I'm using my sour cream. It is optional if you want sour cream or you want more butter, you can either substitute it for more butter or sour cream. But for me, I always want to use sour cream, which makes it more creamier and more nicer and um, tasty. So that is what i added to it and look how creamy it's looking right now it is smelling so great it's amazing so lovelies our mashed potatoes is almost done this is a very simple recipe i'm tasting to see if everything it's good it looks like i need some a little bit of salt so i'm going to add some salt to it since it's too hot it is it's perfect to use it around this time so i'm stirring everything up with a masher and we are almost done look how creamy the potato is looking so here i'm going to take some of the potato mashed potatoes into my serving bowl look how creamy and soft it comes lovelies this is a recipe that you have to try and you know thanksgiving is just around the corner and mashed potatoes is never missed on the thanksgiving table it is always one of the side foods during thanksgiving so i hope this video helped it is going to help you make your special mashed potato for this year so one more thing that i'm going to do lovelies i'm going to add more taste and more flavor to my mashed potatoes so i'm adding on some butter it is optional if you want more butter you can you can add it to it it makes it more juicy and this is my frozen chimes chives that i'm using you can get the fresh chives or the, the frozen chives or the dry chives it makes it super delicious or also you can use spinach anything that you want to use it to garnish your mashed potatoes you're good to go with that look how beautiful and classy this mashed potato is looking and look how easy i use the spoon to to cut it through so here i can't wait it tastes so good what i'm going to do is i'm going to dish out some of this mashed potatoes with some chicken and gravy so here it is look how beautiful it's looking and it is so gorgeous right now lovelies i hope this inspires you to do same as you're watching this video and if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up share the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i welcome all of you to the channel if it's your first time seeing this channel i welcome you and please subscribe i hope you enjoyed watching this video lovelies this is super 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 delicious i really hope this video inspires you so you can make something extra ordinary this thanksgiving or any other day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.